Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. In this series, Farf and I open 10 Master Packs and 10 Secret Packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel each week to try and improve our decks. After that, we'll play in a best of three match to determine that episode's winner. There is one catch though, neither player is allowed to craft any cards other than in one specific situation. The winner of the match gets an extra 5 packs the following week, while the loser is allowed to craft any one card of their choice. Also, every 5 episodes we introduce a new change to the Forbidden and Limited list where we ban and limit a handful of cards. Tune in every Wednesday at 5pm Eastern for a new episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. YouTube! Welcome back to another iteration of Master Saga. We are one episode away from a ban list, which is, uh, I don't know if you've been watching the last couple of weeks, pretty necessary for me, because it doesn't matter what I throw at Doug, he keeps shitting on me. So, let's see what we can get from this week's pack. Sunvines! Based! Pack number dos. Anything spicy? Flame King Genghis! You know, DDD's pretty low rarity, actually. <laughs> and I kind of know how to play that deck. That's an option. Starving King Dragon, Starving Venom, and a Magical Muscular Starfire, which if you guys have been watching the series, you know, since like episode two, I have a lot of musket cards. So this helps put towards a musket strategy, potentially. All right, pack number cinque. Spyro! Spyro! Back here we go. Armored Kappa. <laughs> white! Can we get uh, some more whites, maybe? That's a good deck, right? Grinning Grave Virus at a Shadow Squamata. Is this the Dark World pack? This is not great. All right, we've unlocked six secret packs, and uh, how many ult- Where's the ultras, by the way? Oh, yay. No ultras. This is looking pretty rough. Did we really- uh, There's no way we're ending on zero ultras. Vespacito. Pito. I don't know the lyrics. Uh, and final pack is. Any ultras? Honeybot? And Caduceus! Literally zero ultras! As your 10 pack purchases are no ultras, your next 10 pack purchase will be guaranteed of at least one. Yeah, well, see you next week. Okay, so 10 packs here of Master Pack. I won't spend too much time on an intro here. This is the final episode before the new ban list and we have plenty of other fun things planned. But uh, here are our 10 Master Packs. Can we pull some good hollows here? It doesn't super matter because stuff could get banned next episode anyway. It would be nice to start on like a new archetype that we have not gotten a chance to play before, or perhaps open a pack to an archetype that we already have opened before. That'd be pretty good too. Um, a conquistador of the golden land in a format to where Elbitch is banned, thankfully. Soldier Guy of the Fierce Knight. Not the hollow I was looking for. It looks like this opening only had like three or four hollows. Yeah, this is pretty rough so far. This pack has three hollows in it. Okay, this could be pretty big. Um, Neos, whatever that is, and Super Heavy Samurai. Uh, I mean, that could have been good. Another Raiko, or wait, we only have one copy of this card, I'm pretty sure. That is actually a pretty big deal. That's a good pickup. Lightsworn is a deck that he probably won't think to hit on the next ban list because I only played it like one time and did not go well, but you no, know, we could uh, play that deck this episode if we wanted to. Ultra rare upgrade. What do we got here? <laughs> what is this opening? I'm not going to this pack. Okay, yeah, this is kind of rough. I mean, of all the episodes to get a really bad set of openings, I think that this is probably the one where it's the most okay, but still, it would have been nice to pull, like, a little bit better. We do have one final pack, looks to be an ultra rare. Oh, and a super rare, okay. This pack is pretty important for our pulls this week. Like, what secret pack can we go into? Show me a good secret pack right here. I mean... <laughs> What rarity is Shadow Mist and Mask Change? Because <laughs> that's a pretty damn good card, but it might be hard to use that in an engine. YouTube! We're going back to Old Faithful. The last time we pulled from this pack about eight episodes ago, we didn't get an Ultra, so it was too good to pass up the guaranteed Ultra. And on top of that, there's two decks we can pull into here. Muskets, which we can maybe p get a couple more Caspers for and potentially finish off and actually run, as well as more BA names, and Beat Rice, 
piece which we can craft this week. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. All right, super off the bat here. That's pretty good. What is it? It's not a super. I was debated. Okay, thank you. Pack number two. Virgil. And Ronin Raccoon Sandayu. There's a third seer, which is pretty cool. All right, our first ultra rare is... Not from the pack, unfortunately. But we did get a Super Steel Swarm Hercules. And we got the rest of the Calcabs and some Musket cards. Our ultra is... Hey guys, it works with BA. It banishes fiends. Target three of your banished fiends, special summon this card from your hand, and then shuffle those banished into the deck. Oh my god, we can play this with Barbar! <laughs> Alright, we got a Super here. Uh, nothing in here, but it's over... Why does it jabate me like that? Why does it do that? Uh, we only appear to be on one Ultra so far. That's pretty rough. Yikes. This is the worst box ever. Yeah, worst box, worst deck, you know. Makes sense, doesn't it? Are we literally just getting our one guaranteed Ultra and that's it? Oh, it's super heavy Samurai Beast QB. I've always wanted one of these. Yeah. Farfa! I pulled me! Mario! Woohoo! And another Starfire. I think that's three copies. Next up, we've got... Nothing here. And more Fire Lakes. Okay. More BAs. And... Casper! That definitely is a help for the musket strategy. Oh, an Ultra in here. So if this is Beatrice, this is ideal because I don't want to use crafts on non-staples. She came in clutch just when I needed her. That is literally the lore. At the nick of time, pack number 10, the final card, and she was here to save me. All right, we're literally gonna play Fire Lake Turbo Champ. Okay, so all the packs we unlocked today seem to have pretty high rarity cards in them. I think that this is probably the best option at the moment. We could go for the artifact pack to try to get Sanctum, but right here, if we pull one copy of Natis, we do have a Dogmatica Punishment, so that could be a pretty good pull. Um, we'll see what happens. Probably we'll try to go into a different secret pack for the next five packs from our bonus packs, but uh, we'll have to see here. It didn't look like a lot of hollows this time around. <laughs> okay, Trigodi is also pretty cool. Um, sure, uh, yeah, whatever. Honestly, Trigodi is pretty good in my, like, Chaos Lightsworn deck, which he probably won't hit because it didn't go very well, but I think that deck's pretty strong. Yeah, we could have gone for the Hero Pack to try to high roll for exactly Mask Change 2, but at the moment, I don't really have a Dark deck, so it wouldn't really get used, but, you know, that could be a card to consider for the future. Grave Squirmer is probably a meme, but it is actually, like, a pretty decent card. <laughs> Hyperblade. Maybe this is just karma from last week. You're probably right. <laughs> Soul Drain, okay. Not a bad Floodgate. That's a card he'd probably play because it's uh, anti-Gradle. Oh, these are so bad. <laughs> have we pulled any copies of Gates? It's a uh, rare, I think? Like, we have a Chaos Lightsworn deck without a lot of dark monsters. DD Warrior Lady, not bad. This was a horrible idea. It can't be worse than when I went for Chronomalies, okay. Shooting Star Dragon. Come on. Okay, so there was 10 packs wasted. <laughs> Did we unlock any new secret packs that are interesting? Oh, actually, I wouldn't mind going for a Draco Sack. Five packs, are we gonna pull a Draco Sack? Probably not, but it would be pretty good for our Harpy deck. <laughs> so I'll go into the Draco Sack pack. Gear Frame, Metal Cruncher. O-Lion. Very good card there. Sometimes these like single packs can be crazy. Other times they're just dog shit. Pack number four. <laughs> Another hollow, cool. Show me the Draco sack, come on. My harpy deck needs support. I mean, that's a really good card. Oh, that's pretty cool. Obviously we can't use any of the cards we pulled today, but uh, we'll try to update our deck a little bit here. Anything else I wanna put in here? Oh, I do have an access code, true. Uh, generate. No! Wrong one! Why? I was supposed to click bookmark! Brain! 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 I said it out loud as well! Oh uh, god, what's wrong with me? Yeah, I think I just want like as many uh, travelers as possible just to grind through that back row. Alright, let's dismantle these and let's make a unicorn, I suppose. Uh, dust the second access. Bro. I can go Nightmare Phoenix. 
I go unicorn. Let's go with unicorn. All right, I'll go with unicorn. God, imagine like he hunting ground and like targets fire lake. That would be so bad. I really hope he's not playing that deck. I really hope he's not playing that deck. YouTube, this is our deck for the week. Yes, we went back to old faithful. Cry about it. Is it too much of an opportunity to pass this up? I don't think so. Is it good enough? We'll see. All right. Let's get to the game. Is it 46 too many cards? There are no cards that I want to cut. So that's kind of the problem. The way to make it 40 would be to cut all the Gradle cards because that's a seven card engine. But I really want to play the Gradles before they get banned. Okay, so here is the deck list. We made a few changes, but not too many changes. Our pulls this week were pretty bad. So we added Cosmic Cyclone. We added a Mirror Force card. We added Floodgate Trap Pole. We cut those uh, really bad two Harpy spells that I was playing, the one that wasn't actually a Harpy in hand. And uh, I think that this is like the right choice for this week. It is obviously the last week before a ban list so we wanted to get our final use out of Gradle Impact. I am assuming that Farfa is going to ban this card so uh, maybe we can get like one last hurrah with this. It'd be pretty cool to summon Gradle Dragon one last time too but uh, without further ado let's get into the duel. Wait do you want to go second? No I picked first. Oh, right, sure, okay. Okay, yeah. so now that we're into the episode, Doug, let me tell you a yeah. little story about what happened this week. Um, okay. So I went to click on uh, the bookmark function so I could bookmark access codes, which you know I have. Unfortunately for me, guess what I you did? Press, I bet you dismantled it. <laughs> no, actually, it was oh. not that bad. It was, okay, it was pretty okay. bad. Uh, I ended up uh, generating a second copy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which I can promise you there's very much uh, diminishing returns between the first and second copy of uh, Access yeah, Code. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, this is strange. I'm just pressing buttons. Okay, yeah, what are you going for? Slightly different order. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Okay, so you've just been comboing mm. while I've been talking. Uh, so you've decided to go with Harpies again. That's interesting. Yeah, it's the last week before a ban list. Like, now, the question is, the uh, did you dedicate a craft to a potential ban deck? like slash lady that is the question well you see i did not have a craft because i've actually been winning. oh actually yeah you're right <laughs> never mind yes you do win so... your games that's pretty uh that's pretty crazy how you win games so i actually don't have any um anyway, just good yeah. old pulls i suppose yeah wait so was it your secret pack this week like did you get it again no Okay. All of, I'll tell you this, all 15 of the packs that I opened, I think I pulled one single playable card. Two playable cards, actually, technically. Out of mm. all the cards I opened, it did not go great. Oh God, this is terrible. Why is? Why are you immune to trap cards? I have to like chill for a bit. Man, I don't know how you play 40 card decks. I always want to put in so many cards. You're setting one I'm in just, passing? I'm setting, yes. <laughs> how do I play 40 card decks? I don't know, Doug, because I like drawing my engine pieces. Which, apparently, I'm not very good at, it looks like. <laughs> okay, I'll just say <laughs> Okay, you are also chilling. Yeah, we're Hopping just and locking right today, now. are we? Mm-hmm. What are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be something. Don't worry. I think... It's... This. Mm, okay. Alright, go ahead. Now we're setting some back row. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a pretty good draw. We'll go normal Harpies. Uh, does this have an old summon? Does this target another winged beast you control? Nope. Okay, Drain. So I can't do that. Yeah. Let's go. Harpies is fine. I feel like I should have known. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think on summon, I should have perhaps Made a play. done something. Let's go for this card. Darumadol. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's not a quick effect, is it? No. Get mega punished. Let's go. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He, um, he yeah, didn't good. decide to just go beat down. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for this one. Hmm. Pretty sure this card can search the pot of avarice. I think. Is that mentions Harpy Lady Sisters? Because you draw two. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Are you back on subterrors? <laughs> Is that what's happening here? Uh, no, not quite. All right, it's time, Doug, to reveal my strategy. I okay, flip summon it. Livish Malavranch <laughs> of the Burning Abyss. Uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm trying to remember. I banned Cherubini and Zeus. 
Yes, that's but it. But you still have Dante. Yes. And Virgil, presumably. I think it's like a rare or a common. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do here is, of course, go for the mm-hmm. man himself. Actually, I suppose not really what you would expect. This boy, Virgil. Yeah, no, I kind of figured Virgil. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, We're also going to trigger on summon the effect of Libich to special summon a monster from our hand here. Okay, so let's go with Lysia. Okay, so, so this is a time space that shuffles away. Yes, so you won't get uh, the draw. Yeah, that's fine. I almost think Virgil is better in limited than Dante, like without Zeus. Like Virgil's pretty Virgil strong. Best like you don't get the looping, but the getting rid of a card every turn is pretty strong. Oh yeah, Virgil's Some really good. Knowledge. Okay, sure. And then, because, okay, so that's bait number one. Uh, we proceed with Traveler, the soul charge of the deck, what? targeting <laughs> both of the monsters um... that went to the grave for the synchro summon. Okay, well, this is before... being pretty strong right here. No! <laughs> so, um, I'll probably just go for this one. No! God. No! You're traveling to the Ice Dragon's prison. They are indeed going hey, at least to. You get Libic back, right? To, to jail. I just want you to know, I don't care that that's a one of. That is my first ban. That is my first ban. Okay. <laughs> that's that's your lightning storm, right? Yeah. <laughs> like I had to ban, ban lightning storm when you only had a one, just because I fucking hated it. <laughs> um. Okay. So we have some possible really bad plays, but I think we should just go this. Go for perfumer. Man, I was gonna go for the other one, but I feel like this is actually pretty strong. <sighs> go for egotist. <laughs> What, you didn't want to bring Harpies back? That's, uh, that's pretty, yeah, the, the hunting ground play is really good here. Oh my gosh, you had Fire Lake too? Yes, I had Fire Lake oh, locked and fuck. loaded. Okay, yeah, that's pretty strong. We're just gonna attack. You know, I didn't consider that you would have a BA in hand. Uh, don't <laughs> worry, like no BAs here. No BAs here, just something that you can summon off libic right <laughs> but no bas uh it was actually an um, error screen to just it just to say um mm, there was no applicable no target yeah <laughs> funnily enough king of the pharaoh imps yep what are we adding did i misread this card <gasps> these aren't fucking reptiles oh okay, they're aquas Pretty are you trying to search Pretty a gradle don't worry about it don't worry about it oh, all right shit uh, yeah, it's not that good. It's one little libich. Yeah. Can I draw? So here's the thing. I wanna. I just want everyone to know why NBA? I thought King of the Feral Imps could search the Gradles. <laughs> King of the Feral Imps is the card that unlocked the Gradle pack for me. <laughs> so I kind of figured like you could use it to like. The, of course, the Gradles will be reptiles. They're in the. Oh pack. God! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I hate you. Uh, so here's that duster I could have used on that ice dragon. Wait, figured... this is such a bad duster, what are you doing? I'm scooping, Doug. Oh, um, fair, fair. So I could have ice dragoned your, um... Uh, I could have dusted you your ice dragon, ice but... Dragon. Then you search oh, hunting man. ground and, you know, channeler and yeah. you know, best cards, right? So it was a... It was like a risk. Yeah, duster's like pretty bad against <sighs> the actual harpy deck, funnily enough. God damn, okay. Reflesia is so good! Oh, I mean, I don't want to go first and set Fire Lake into one hunting ground. Feels so bad, doesn't it? No, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I have to go first. I don't have a choice, right? Like, I just do. Yeah. <laughs> Ice Dragon, Troll Despair. Oh, All yeah, right. first time we get the Feather Duster animation, because that was just added. Yeah, that is that. That is true. What the? Okay. Um... Can I just say, Doug, I'm playing 25 Burning Abyss monsters. I think you should try 46 card decks. Like that. <laughs> I'm playing 40 cards and 25 Burning Abyss monsters. Okay, I guess we expected that. Yeah. Um. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why would you go for the middle one, huh? Only the bads put their best card in the middle. Like, didn't have to be the best card, it had to just not be ring, exactly. Yeah, that's true. 
Oh, damn it, Egotist. Oh, let's go for Hysteric Sign. I like how this is basically activating board. Starlight Road for that duster I crafted two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, no, that is an issue. Uh... Is this the real? battle of neither yes. of us having any playable cards? Yep, okay, well, I will just, uh... No! I'll go with this. <laughs> okay. Playable card off the top right here. Yep. Well, nay. No harpies. No harpies. No harpies. Maybe that 46 card deck is uh, Ooh, not working out so much. That's funny. All right, let's flip summon uh, Rubik. Yep, there he is. Let's uh, normal summon Alich. Yep. Um, so I'm actually going to play around the time space. I'm just going to go battle phase here. Pack for 13. Makes sense. Yep. <laughs> what and, if I would have uh, had, like, Drowning Mirror Force right there? <laughs> Hey, listen, I'm the Mirror Force guy. <laughs> oh, you are hard playing around it. Okay, interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm not even uh, overlaying. No, 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 no. Unexpected the dying. Spot summon Harpy Lady. Hunting Ground. <laughs> no, say it isn't so. <laughs> no, it's that not as not good as Waking the Dragon, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, but it is good and evil of the Burning Abyss. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why are you playing that? <laughs> Let's go, another Egotist. Sure. Oh, I could go for... Sure, I'll just go for this one. I should have um, known, because, like, you wouldn't have set Fire like turn one, because you didn't have a BA. Yeah, all, actually. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah, I got a Fire like now. Kind of not the best targets for it. What do I clear? Um, I feel like it's Probably definitely the monsters. Sign. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think popping the um, good and evil might have just lost me this one, actually. I'm a little bit worried about it. Okay, because what does it do? It, like, discards any BA to add a BA. To be fair, I feel like it's only good if I discard a good BA, like, Graph or Seer. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Man. Okay, well, I will use this. Oh, it sends and... for cost? That's right. Yes. Rough. Oh, yikes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I kind of just forgot I had that in my hand when I was reading Good and Evil. That is so rough. That wasn't like a misdirect. It was like I literally... You do not play a second Good and Evil. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I don't believe No, <laughs> but okay. I will just dump a Traveler. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I was like, if you play a Damn. second Good and Evil... Society of Kagna could dump Barbar. -Bar. <laughs> that would be neat. <laughs> Like, yeah, normal summon Harpy Lady attack for 13. Harp, harp, harpy Punch, okay, I like it, yep. respectable. This will, okay, you're at 53, yeah, you're on like a 7 turn clock. Yeah, whatever. good clock here. Easy peasy. For sure. No, it's way lower than that, it's like a 4 or 5 turn clock. Okay, except I can't deal with a defense mode monster. <laughs> no, <laughs> the bane of uh, every sealed deck, a defense position, Skarm. <laughs> <laughs> it's too powerful. <laughs> Oh, he's not, he's definitely, he's not, he's, you're not going for I it, okay. I gotta save the Harpy Lady, I gotta save it. Okay. Bing chillin'. Sure. Bing chillin'. Okay, let's go Duster. Ah, you got a Duster! <laughs> oh, oh, you Traveler God. and Fire like again. <laughs> No, I can't get rid of that. Not yet, at least. Because I finally drew, probably for the last time in the series, <laughs> Great Old Impact. Oh, God. <laughs> great Old Cards. <laughs> Troll I have a feeling this is going to be cards. the last Great Old Impact we ever see activated. <laughs> I have yeah, a feeling. most definitely. All right, so... Um... I love hmm. these Great Old Cards. Yeah, Where yeah. Now, how does your Gradle out a defense position, Rubik? <laughs> well, let's see what the aggro is, I guess. Oh, you could activate this. You activate this to destroy. Okay, so I've got Chain Cyclone. That's yeah. Oh, man, not going for the Hysteric Sign. Shit. No, I mean, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Gradle I mean, I can't let you out my board here. <laughs> no, it's just interesting that, like... No, I think that's the right play. It's just, like, interesting that... Some what? Impact is better than like a card that adds three cards to your hand. <laughs> um, Hello? What? Can we yeah. talk about how you have prosperity? 
No, I was just gonna go over it. I guess I can banish King of the Feral Imps now that I know that I don't have any target. <laughs> uh, oh, great impact! <laughs> oh my god, what? Please tell me that's once per turn. Yeah, yeah, it's already once per turn. It's only is one impact it, per turn, it's... okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, it's not that good. Oh, um, man, this is so rough. Switch this to defense mode and the pass. Hmm. Yeah, prosperity's pretty crazy in sealed. I will say that. Hey. People were like arguing over extravagance or prosperity, like which one would be the better pull. Hey, it's you. Do I have any monsters in this extra deck that play around time space? I don't have Rafflesi on the board. Yeah, but like I know it's set. That's the issue. <laughs> You're so worried. I just play cards, and if you have it, you have it. This is so bad. <laughs> I'll have you know this Harpy deck. I mean, as you can kind of tell, right? Uh, plays like the least amount of traps of any deck that I've built. Because people are like, "Oh, DZ plays too many trap cards." <laughs> plays like the least amount. Uh, I have to play into time space because I lose otherwise, and I lose anyway to time space next turn because great impact. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> What can a man do? <laughs> I will um, Arfa banish your alligator to assert dominance. Yep. Is this the beginning of your Joker arc? <laughs> I mean, I wait. Is that question directed at you or me? Because uh, no, you. I, I, yeah, I think I. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I can't play. Like, what? What do I just like secretly craft Dude, like a Draco I... deck like every week? I don't know. Like, I had the play. <laughs> Full power, Leerless yeah, Tri Brigade. For yeah, that wasn't very fun row. for you, I assume. Yeah. To be fair, it felt a lot closer than what is going on here. It did not feel closer from my perspective, I can tell you that much. <laughs> well, Doug, from my perspective, the Jedi are evil. Uh, uh, top anyway, deck tour guide one time. I think I just, I think these are the two cards that are getting banned. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. Uh, yeah, I guess go ahead. <laughs> Great and Rafflesia, too good. Oh man, okay, yeah, I'll go over this one, why not? <laughs> Doug is plus six on Farfa here, it's really neck and neck. Oh yeah, no, yeah. any turn now. <laughs> I'm gonna draw Torgai, then it's gonna be fine, even though I don't have yeah, that card. Yeah. I will normal summon Seer. Okay, yeah, we're making waves, yep. Yep. <laughs> yep, <Seer>. yep. <laughs> I mean, well, maybe <laughs> setting it was better, to be fair, I guess. <laughs> I guess we'll end the Master Saga episode I hope 14. you guys have been enjoying the Gradle arc. <laughs> okay, so you get to steal and then synchro into Gradle Dragon or something, right? No, I don't get to steal. I'm just uh, popping oh, it. Oh, okay. Well, I had fun, honestly. Uh, it looks like even uh, two secret packs worth of Burning Abyss cards are still really bad. Wait! You went back into it? Yeah, I opened it again today. <laughs> Wait, don't you remember that I started with the, uh, what's it called? Burning Abyss back in like episode two or something? And then you yeah, I thought you were just using those cards again. I didn't realize that you opened the pack again. Oh, God damn, what the f- um, your, your staple luck is crazy. What the hell? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, here's a ghost bell. <laughs> yep. Uh, there there is. Is. <laughs> okay, well, there it is. Um. So for what it's right. worth, for those of you watching on YouTube, in the next episode, we are not only adding a new ban list, and obviously that's going to be big and stuff, but we are also adding multiple new twists, so make sure to uh, come back next week, because uh, trust me, it won't be great old beatdown for the fifth week in a row. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a really solid amount of uh, funny content upcoming, so make sure you guys yeah. subscribe and tune in for next week. It's going to be big. <laughs>